Do you want to know what a zusammenfassende Meldung is? Do you do business with a company from a foreign EU country and now you don't know exactly what you have to do? If so, you'll learn it in this video. Hi, my name is Melcher from Contest Tax Consulting and the EU is quite intertwined as far as VAT law is concerned. This means that it is relatively easy for businesses to exchange goods and services within Europe. But the countries in the EU have the problem that they somehow need to have an overview of who is doing business with whom, i.e. which company in which EU country is doing business with which company from another EU country. The report about which sales are made there happens within the framework of the so-called Called but what do you do in order to have business relations with other companies from other EU countries? The most important thing is the so-called UST identification number. How you apply for it, you can see step by step in this video. At this point, very briefly, there are actually two ways in which you can apply for it. Either you apply for it directly at the time of incorporation and while filling out the questionnaire for tax registration, you can simply tick the box, yes, I need a UST number. If you didn't do this directly at the time of incorporation, you can do so at any time on the website of the Federal Central Tax Office. Important at this point, you absolutely need this number. If you have business relations with other companies from other EU countries, both as a customer and as a supplier, a term that is often used in connection with international trade in goods and services is the so-called reverse charge procedure. This reverse charge procedure ensures that the recipient of the service and not the service provider has to take care of the sales tax processing. This is therefore different from intra-community trade in goods or services. What exactly the reverse charge procedure is and how you should invoice a company in another EU country, I have already explained in a separate video. So if you've never heard the term reverse charge and don't know exactly what it is, have a look at it first. The important thing to know at this point is that the reverse charge invoices are all issued net and that the recipient of the service has to do all the VAT processing. But now let's imagine the entire EU. Everywhere there are cross-border services and everywhere the recipient of the service must carry out the VAT processing. In order to be able to somehow control all these services, every country has its own institution institution to which you have to report the sales you have made with the rest of the EU. In Germany, this is the Bundeszentralamt für Steuern, so the Federal Central Tax Office, and it can reconcile with the other EU countries whether the sales tax report actually took place. And that report from you to the Bundeszentralamt für Steuern is the so-called Zusammenfassende Meldung. This means that you always have to submit a Zusammenfassende Meldung if you made sales with your company from other European EU countries. If you didn't do any sales with a company from another EU country in a quarter, you do not have to submit a Zusammenfassende Meldung. In principle, the reporting period for the Zusammenfassende Meldung is always the quarter, unless you exceed 50,000 euros in total sales per quarter. Then the reporting period changes to monthly. The deadline is always the 25th after the reporting period. This means that if the reporting period for you is the quarter and you make the Zusammenfassende Meldung for the third quarter of 2021, ending on the 30th of September, the deadline is the 25th of October. You you can submit the Zusammenfassende Meldung either online via the Elster online portal or via the online portal of the Federal Central Tax Office. You have to provide some data about yourself, name, address, your own Umsatzsteuer identification number and the sales tax identification number of your business partners. Also the amount of the turnover as well as the type of turnover. It is important to note that you are responsible for the correctness of the VAT number of your business partners. If you have an incorrect VAT number for your business partners, for whatever reason, the tax office can come to you and demand the Umsatzsteuer. Actually, this turnover would be tax-free and your business partner would have to take over the processing. But if the number is wrong, the tax office will come to you and demand the sales tax from you, which of course is a considerable financial damage. Therefore, you should always check whether the VAT identification number of your business partner is really correct. This is also the reason why the Umsatzsteuer identification number must be stated in your imprint on your website. There's a page 
from the Bundeszentralamt für Steuern, where you can check all sales tax identification numbers. You can find the link to it at the bottom of this video description. Unfortunately, this summary report is relatively often forgotten. I also understand why that's the case. The zusammenfassende Meldung is an information to the Federal Central Tax Office, and it is not at all connected with any tax payments or refunds that you may receive. But do take the whole thing seriously, because late submission of the zusammenfassende Meldung can result in a fine of 2,500 euros. And if you don't submit it at all, it can come to penalty payments of up to 25,000 euros, and these fines can be avoided. I hope that this video could help you and has given you a small overview of what a zusammenfassende Meldung actually is. If you're now thinking, sheesh, more obligations, I don't want to do that, I didn't become self-employed for this, you might want to find a tax consultant to do it for you. We would be very happy to do the zusammenfassende Meldung for you. You can find all the information about our services and how we can help you here. You're also very welcome to take a look at our online community. What it is exactly and how you can sign up, you can find out in this video. Or have a look at our other videos such as this one.